Hello, welcome to Sunday's lesson. Today is Sunday, October 18th. Please get out the math capture sheet for Sunday, October 18th. Today's topic is GCF with more than two numbers. Sounds scary, but I promise we'll get through it together. All right, go ahead and start the warm up on your worksheet and then we'll go over it when you're done. Okay, let's go over this warm up. This is just some uh, good practice with the GCF. Okay. The first problem, I'll go through and do the whole thing. The second problem, we'll see. Okay. So, 75 and 125. I hope you realized that you can put 25 into 75 and also into 125. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay. Sorry about that, I'm tired. Okay, I was getting ahead of myself. All right, let's see, is this right? Yep, this is right. All right, uh, okay, it's important to be really neat here because that could look like a two and a five, but it's a 25. All right, now we're going through and we're circling the pairs, right? Five and five. 5 and 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. So that is our GCF here. Okay, problem 2. You're finding the GCF of 44 and 121. Ready? Begin. Alright, I'm going to skip the factor tree. I'm just give you the prime factorizations here. 11 is a prime number. That's an important thing to note here. Okay. You can't divide 11 into anything else except for 1, but we don't need 1 because we know 1 goes into everything. All right. We got a pair of 11s. And that's it. So our greatest common factor is just 11. Okay. Alrighty. So, normally we would go right into our next lesson, but um, this is important. There are a couple of things that we missed in the past few days that are really, really important to note. The first of which I included as a note on your last Ed Puzzle, but I want to formally go through it now. You had a problem that asked you to find the excuse me, to find the GCF of 49 and 64. So let's go through and do these factor trees. I'm just going to do it quickly. Don't do this. Um, this is true. Okay, so when you so here I have the prime factorizations of 49 and 64 and you will likely notice that when you try to do step 2 circling the pairs or highlighting the pairs there's n there are no pairs to highlight right so that makes us very sad because there's nothing to highlight but what we can always do is remember that 1 goes into everything so it's like we ha it's it's like we got like one hiding off on the side always in our prime factorization because one is a prime number but we don't need to include it because we know that one goes into everything okay so the prime factor I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry the greatest common factor when there when when you have no matches is one okay so the GCF is one and that is because one is a factor of everything 
Okay. Now we're going to move on to our practice lesson for the day. Okay. All right. Before we move on, just a little check for understanding. Um, in Edpuzzle, just know, remember, when you get to the question, you can either do your answer or you can also click rewatch and that'll that'll let you rewatch the last section in case you missed something. Okay, and you can also use the little slider. You probably know how to use a YouTube video. You can use the slider to move forward and backward in the video. Alrighty. So answer this question please. When there is nothing in common in two numbers prime factorizations, the greatest common factor is, here's the answer, ready for the answer? Yay, it's one, okay, good. That was just a little check for understanding. So let's get into today's lesson now. It's doing finding the GCF when you have more than one number, which seems a little intimidating at first, but I promise it is not that bad. All right. The only thing that's different, and you can write this on your paper, is that there's more than two numbers. So the the thing that's different is in well in your steps, the thing that's different is you need instead of finding pairs, you need to find triples. So the numbers need to be in all of the prime factorizations. This will make more sense in like five seconds when I do this. All right, the problem that you have here is 32, 48, and 72. All right, I'm gonna go to the pencil. 32, our prime factorization. I'll show it just for this. Lots of twos, very fun. Okay, so I did the factor trees. This uh, step one is the same. You always have to do the factor trees. Now, what's different is that instead of finding a pair of say, just with those two numbers, you have to find one that fits all of the numbers, all of their prime factorizations. So let's start. We've got a two, I don't think that's gonna work this time. We've got a two. Oh, here's what I'll do. Okay, we've got a two. A two, I'm not adding anything. I'm just changing the color. Okay, now another color. We got another two in all of them. Okay. I'll change the color again. And then we got another two in all of them. So there are more numbers in the prime factorizations, but we don't need them because we only care about the numbers that are in all of them. Okay. And we have three twos in all of them. So let's multiply all the numbers together. Again, you are wrong if you say three times two because it's three twos. That is not correct. We're multiplying them all together. Two times two times two. Okay. That's four times two equals eight. So your greatest common factor here is eight. Alrighty. Now you have some practice problems on the back. There are um, three practice problems. The first two, you have three numbers to find the greatest common factor. The last one, it's sort of a bonus question. You have four numbers to find the greatest common factor of, okay? And you can enter your responses right here. 
So go ahead and get to work on the back. Please enter your response for question A. Please enter your response for question B. Please enter your response for question C. Okay. At this point, our video for the day is all done. And you get to enjoy some lovely artwork. Ooh. Fancy. Cool. All right. Bye.